a few days as a lot of these communities, people are just struggling to get in and get supplies in, much less get the power on. So the need is great. You can see that swath from Florida extending all the way up through North Carolina. Uh, Asheville, you can see the Asheville area completely without power still and again likely for a while. Tropical development. 30% chance of that system in the Gulf developing. Uh, develop or not, it still may, even as an area of low pressure, if it drifts east far enough, produce some heavy rain in Florida. We're going to keep an eye out for that. North Florida, we're not looking at it having any impact on the areas impacted by Helene, but uh, the Florida West Coast saw an 18-foot storm surge from Helene, so four to five inches of rain, they don't need that at all. Hurricane Kirk looking at a major hurricane category four staying out over water and Leslie looks like it will increase to major hurricane strength before turning to the north as well. We'll keep an eye on that, see how far west it's able to go before that northward turn. 83 Chattanooga, 82 right now in Cleveland. We're still at 88 in Scottsboro, 87 the high day in Chattanooga, 63 the low this morning. That 87 way above the average high of 79 and 57 is where we should be a uh, our low. Well, guess what? Next week we're going to have temperatures very similar, if not even cooler than that. So get ready for that. 81 Red Bank uh, was our high today. 83 Bryant made up 78 in Mont Eagle and 86 in Cleveland. Hit 88 in Murphy. Delano also 84 in Ryan. Oh, don't we love to see that blue? That is cooler air sliding in next week. I'm looking forward to it. Next seven days, mid 80s through the weekend, then falling into the seven. That is where we should be this time of the year, by the way. Not only will it be cooler, but look at the humidity taking a plunge next week. So cooler, drier, much more fall-like air on the way. Get ready to go look at pumpkins and apples and all kinds of good stuff next weekend. Radar and satellite, clear skies for most of the area. A few clouds up into Murphy. Tomorrow, I'm going to call it partly to mostly cloudy. Might see a couple of stray sprinkles popping up. The rain chance only 20%. And then Saturday, Sunday, it's going to stay warm. But notice, oh, here comes our front. Behind that front, the cooler air sliding in next week. You are going to love it. Tonight, scattered clouds. It's going to be mild, dropping down to 60 degrees in Chattanooga. We'll drop to 65 in Cleveland, 64 in Fort Payne. And then tomorrow, heating it back up to 85, mostly cloudy. Once again, a spotty shower. Or two, it's a possibility around the Tennessee Valley, 85 Chattanooga, low 80s for most of folks up and down the valley, uh, even staying in the upper 70s on the plateau and in the Blue Ridge. Storm alert seven day forecast, I'll put that rain chance at 20% warm through Monday. And look at this 70s for highs, lows in the low 50s. We will be grabbing some jackets by the middle of next week, guys.